Hey guys, welcome to... And today, uh, I'm actually going to be uh, doing a review and demo of the Haymac vacuum cleaner. So, in this video, so, uh, I'm just going to show you all the different components that came with this. Uh, again, I'll do a demo here over on my carpet, and I'll just I'll walk you through the, the user manual and everything regarding this vacuum. Also, talk about some of the reasons I, I really like this vacuum. So, so let's first start uh, with the main vacuum itself you have the actual base piece that attaches to a long stick. This basically can actually extend up or down depending on the height that you want. So you only have one center attachment piece and each of these can be disconnected or you can raise or lower this as needed. The actual base here, if we flip this over, basically has these really nice bristles. Uh, you can see it's got a red going through the center. You have a nice pad here going all throughout the base and this basically isn't going to cause like going to cause like too many tangled issues with hair or other things like that due to the way it's designed. You have nice rollers here, so this actually moves pretty good on the floor and it also rotates back and forth pretty easily when just making sweeps through the floor. You have on the main actual suction piece, it just has their logo here, you have a filter that's up here in the base. If I actually push this here, you can see this is the filter up on the top. And then you also have a larger filter inside of the main vacuum. This is what it looks like. They actually, you provide the bones one to you. So you have this filter and it can be replaced and washed as needed. You have a standard charging cord. So essentially this is your charging cord. You plug this in, I believe up here on the, I think it's on the side or actually on the top, the battery. Here it is here you can plug it in right into the direct battery this battery can also be removed so if you don't want to, want to or simply you could literally just take the battery out and then go charge it as needed and reattach and it's pretty easy to take off also with this you have a fairly large dirt chamber so this is going to hold all the dirt and whenever you're done uh, you simply die just push this um, this blue piece and this will pop right off and then and when you're done, you can snap it back. One thing I really like about this particular vacuum that I noticed is um, that this actually has an LCD screen to indicate how much battery life is left. And then you both have a regular mode or a turbo mode. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll do a little demo here. This carpet uh, isn't particularly super dirty, but you can see there's a little bit of dirt down here. And we'll see if we can vacuum all that up. Uh, so we power this on by default. You can see it has 57% left, and it shows three icons here for the speed. If you push on this button, it will switch between either the lower high mode. You also have nice LED lights here, so if it's dark in the room, this will really help you see any of the dirt. So I'll just keep it at low mode for now, and with that, it's actually doing a pretty good job at picking up just some of that basic dirt. If we want to go for the higher mode, it works pretty well. So uh, I'll do the whole carpet and then we'll take a look at the actual dirt chamber just to see what we picked up. And this actually had been vacuumed probably about a week or so ago. So it did pick up, you know, some good amount of dirt and dust. So you can see there was quite a bit on there. So I'd say this works really well. Another thing that that actually came with this uh, is, is a few accessories I wanted to uh, show you. So, uh, so you so you uh, also have a couple of things that you could do with the main stick. You have this uh, for like small corners, edges. You have a cleaning tool as well that it comes with, so you can use this for cleaning. And then you also have a brush head extension. So, uh, so it does come with a couple nice extensions. You also have a wall mount piece, um, so you can wall mount this, essentially. It goes into the wall like this, and then the vacuum itself will just hang on this. So this is really convenient if you're just looking to hang it on the wall. It's not really going to stand up too well on its own, but ultimately, you know, the manual goes through all this, has nice picture diagrams, everything is in good English, and really describes everything quite well, gives you an example of what to expect. Oh, uh, yeah, overall, very happy with this vacuum. I think if you were looking for a nice stick vacuum, this uh, definitely would be a good bet. I bet I really like the color scheme as well on this one, so uh, yeah.
Thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful, and I will talk to you later.